Taurus, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. There you are, buddy. So this is going to be your weekly reading from the 9th through the 15th. All right, I'm going to tune into your love life. Look at now we got the Empress here. Let's tune into your love life. We're going to see what's going on. Let's get a message here of guidance, of clarity here for the, tar for the Taurians. What's going on with the Taurians? Those are resonating with the sign of the bull. From the 9th through the 15th of December. What's going on with you? <clears throat> All right, ladies and gents, we got the sun at the bottom of the deck. What a positive omen. All right, we got the three of cups. Celebration, baby. We got the nine of, or the knight of swords and the five of cups. It seems like there was some sort of grievance, some sort of disappointment that somebody here is trying to clean up. There's a mess, let's just say. Someone here made a mess and they're trying to clean it up is really what I'm seeing here. All right. However, this mess, even though there may be wounds in this situation, it's absolutely reconcilable. Okay. From the five of wands, this is conflict, a lack of seeing eye to eye. If you progress this, you'll go to the six of wands, which is celebration or rather uh, success. All right. Let's see. It was, let's clarify this, um, the, the lovers, wow, look at that, clarifying the three of cups, which is this reconciling energy, we have the lovers, ladies and gentlemen, so clearly there is unity coming forth between you and somebody, all right, more so harmony, that's what I'm seeing here, harmony, so just like I mentioned, somebody here is going to want to clean up a mess, Taurus, <clears throat> tell me about this, uh, Knight of Swords. What's this? this is communication coming forward here. Queen of Swords. This is communication being reciprocated. So you and your person are already in contact is what I'm getting here. You guys are already engaging with one another. You guys are definitely dealing with this in a very mature manner. So it seems and as it should be because there is wounds. And I feel these wounds are still pulsing. All right. They're still pulsing. And the reason why these wounds are still present is because there are feelings. Believe me, if you guys didn't have feelings for one another, you guys would be like, ah, whatever. All right, but that's not the case, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, what's with the moon energy? The moon energy, well, I'm not getting a negative energy from this. So the moon is all about obscurity, and that's exactly what I see happening. It's like I said, cleaning up the mess. Cleaning up the mess, and, you know, this mess will be cleaned up by communication. That's it. Communication, coming together, seeing eye to eye. Now, I want to bring your attention to this five of cups. If you look at this person... And behind this person where my finger's at, there's two cups. This is exactly what's taking place. Two of cups. There's, this, there's an element of recognizing the potential that still exists in this relationship. All right. So let's see. <clears throat> the four of swords. The four of swords. There is a needed break, or not a break, but a, a healing or some sort of healing phase. And I feel that this is more so on an individual level. Yes, in general, the relationship is going through an act of balance and harmony here, Taurus, okay, notably. But on an individual level, I feel that there's still a negative attachment that someone is dealing with, which they got to work through. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. What's going on here, buddies, with Taurus? What is Taurus's energy towards a person? Three. Two. One. All right, so we got the Ace of Coins, the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Lord. Lord Anubis. <clears throat> then I got Christians throwing Bibles at me. Don't use the Lord's name in vain. What Lord? Probably thousands of Lords. <clears throat> shit, kings used to be called Lord. No, there's, and then they argue that there's only one Lord. Okay, buddy. Let's see. What's going on here with the... Mm, so you're initiating something. And I know what that something is, ladies and gents. You are initiating a reconciliation here. It seems that Taurus is coming in full force. You heard that, Crosswatcher? Taurus is coming in full force. They're coming in to take that, to claim that shit. That's what they're coming in for. They're like, fuck this. I've, I've been too overburdened. I'm ready to settle. Was it you? No, it must have been Gemini. But I was like, hey, watch out. This is the type of person that, that will put holes, make little holes in the condoms to lock your ass down. <laughs> Let's hope you're not like that. But anyways, here, what's going on here with the Ten of Wands? Nine of Coins. All right. So, damn, I feel Taurus is like, I'm done being single. I'm, I'm fucking done 
I'm done being single. This is burdensome. I want to be in a relationship. So I'm going to make my move. That's what I'm seeing here, Taurus. You be, you're, what are you disappointed about? Four of Cups? There's some sort of disillusion that you're experiencing. Damn, your feelings look turned off, guys. You're, you're appearing as someone that is very objective. You're like, someone here that is definitely in this masculine energy of trying to be assertive and take control of a situation to make something happen. By all means. By all means, sometimes we got to be assertive to make things happen, all right? But I do want to note that you do seem a bit emotionally disconnected. You have your reasons. You look overburdened. Maybe your feelings were just putting more pressure on you and you said, you know what? I need to start being effective and objective. So I see you coming forward and expressing these feelings, but guys, be sure that you're not, look at, really judge yourself, all right? This is the biggest takeaway from this energy that I'm picking up from you. Really judge yourself, okay? Make sure that you're coming from a place of wholeness. Don't come, up, don't come from a place of neediness. I don't know why I was picking up like that energy of Taurus want is done being single and they want to lock this down. And then we get the devil here culminating your spread. So be sure that you're not coming out of desperation, Taurus. Be sure that you're not trying to woo some, someone out of neediness and anxiety. Nobody likes that shit. Nobody. It's repulsive. It's repulsive, ladies and gents. Be confident. Attract. You've already heard. Oh, you don't even know how many women I get. I don't chase, I attract. That's fine. Do that. I mean, you can still be assertive. You can still be assertive. It's like, look, if I'm going to go talk to a woman that I find attractive, I'm not going to come off fucking needy and desperate. Of course, I'm going to be assertive and go speak, but I'm going to be holding myself. I mean, really, I feel that's what, what's quite effective when wooing is that element of not giving a fuck. That element of saying, or not saying, but really displaying like, hey, look, if this doesn't work out, or if you're, not, if you're uninterested, shit. I don't mean shit to me. I'm just curious about you. Are you curious about me? Let's see what's going on here with this, um, with this Torian individual, or individuals, whomever it is that Taurus is dealing with here. Let's get three more shuffles and more energy. Are they projecting towards Taurus? Take a look, shall we? Ace of Wands, two of Wands, two of Cups. Damn, so someone here is reciprocating. This is going to make your day, ladies and gents. All right. As I mentioned, um, it does seem like you guys are already engaging with one another. You guys are already communicating with one another. And you're probably not even going to listen to me. You probably are in this fucking needy and desperate sort of energy. And you don't give a shit because it's being reciprocated. And you're just intoxicated with that sort of love and the emotional reciprocation, which is valid just saying ladies and gents just saying what's going on here with the ace of wands so your person wants to get serious damn Taurus is about to get even more needier so look at that your person here is coming in for the goddamn kill Taurus what's going on here buddies uh now I don't want to paint you a picture of uh, happily ever after but it is definitely headed that way However, we cannot negate to the fact that there's still some tumultuous feelings that are in the process of closing out. All right, so Taurus, this looks fascinating. This week looks wonderful, ladies and gents, truly. The energies here of coming together and working things out are reciprocated. All right, and what else do you want? What else do you want? Let's see, I'm going to get, let's just pull a card of advice or, or insight for Taurus, all right? Any card of advice for Taurus this week? Hmm. Six of Cups. Ladies and gents, what I'm getting from this energy here, look, you're going through the process of a reconciliation. All right? And it's just a matter of being authentic. That's it. Be authentic, ladies and gents. Be authentic. Understand. Understand that you are, you're the full package. You're the full package to this individual. Okay? So there's no need to be scared. There's no need to, maybe you're not scared. Maybe you're in an exuberant mood. I'm just telling you guys. You guys are, are the full package. You are a wish fulfillment to this individual. So just be yourself. There's no need to stress out. There's no need to be overly obsessed. There's none of that fucking grotesque energy. You're the full package. So enjoy this phase of reconciling with this individual and be yourself. Also, being yourself and being authentic is that realization that you do not need this individual to be happy. Just be grateful that they're there. All right, Taurus, I'm taking this to the extended where I'm going to delve into your person's energy. I want to look into this individual's actions towards you. I want to look into this individual's 
perception of you. I want to look into how they envision the future with you. So do they envision a, a long-term relationship or reconciling? How far does their imagination go? I also want to look into the near future. The link to the extended will be in the description. If you're wanting full access to all the extended readings for a discounted price, look at the link below that. Just read the description, all right? Nevertheless, Taurus, it is a pleasure. And guys, congratulations. To be honest, I want to leave you with this last message of just enjoy the ride. That's it. Enjoy the ride. That's all I got for you. I'll see you guys next time.